Go. Okay. So we built a uh, Python remote control for the So have you ever been in this situation where you have a computer without a mouse and your keyboard, but you do have a, a, a you know, USB HP cable or oh, 100 nanofarad capacitor that each space <laughs> has got to jump through wires and yeah, then that's a little to let you use your this computer to upload a few Arduino sketches. Yeah, just last week awesome. I was <laughs> found myself in that situation. Wow. I like the background music. So what are we seeing here? Well, it's uh, down here is like where you can type in what you want to send into the computer, and uh, here's the left, uh, the different clicking, like left, right click, and uh, yeah, that helped a little bit. Um, <laughs> and so we're seeing the computer in the background, yeah. and that's your app there in the front. Yeah. So So you're using, you're using your app right now yeah. to control the computer to show your presentation. Yeah. You don't need a Signals from my phone, and uh, it'll like send it, and so it'll pretend to be a mouse and keyboard to your computer. Cool. <laughs> that was a prototype. Yeah. But uh, the app is with <laughs> 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 I used as a temporary for Here's his GitHub account. You're all going to have one of these here, so pay attention. Including a uh, version of the use for 
that we may or may not have used for demonstrations. What is, what is an Arduino sketch? Uh, it's, a, it's the program that we are going to announce. Okay, so if you're going to program in the Arduinos, we don't call them programs, we call them sketches. But they're very similar to what we're going to be doing in Python or the PoE people, Robot C. You could probably look at his Arduino sketch and figure out what some of the things are that's going on in those things. They're very, uh, very similar to Robot C, a lot of it. Our success is obviously that it works. Sometimes it just wouldn't work. So, for some reason, it, and we still don't know why this works, don't ask us, <laughs> but adding a delay of one millisecond it fixed the, the problem where it would sometimes only take one letter. That fixes lots of things. Yeah. Like in robots, see the same thing. Put a little wait time in there because you need something like there's. Like the computer is trying to do something, it does it only so fast and it needs the time to get something fixed or something before it can do something generally. is a canvas and we just do like when the canvas is dragged uh, figure out what the change in x and y is and send that to the computer and uh, here is uh, where you can type like text to be sent and it sends all of the uh, text over ASCII We had to build a ASCII table since it's not built into that. So you had a I'm trying to zoom in, see if I can see it or not. So you had to put in the ASCII code for every character on the keyboard. Yes. Man, that blows. <laughs> it didn't actually take as long as I thought it was. Yeah, that's uh, something that could be valuable to other people right away because they could just take yours and then they wouldn't have to do it. You could do that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Slash 
Excellent. So a couple things there that uh, would be for you guys is uh, uh, GitHub is a really important place. And uh, when I say really important place, I mean like, you know, C now do is, is you know, a scrum place. The, GitHub is legit. Everyone has all their stuff out there on GitHub. GitHub is a version control uh, system. And you're going you're gonna to learn about that. You're all going to have to set up your own GitHub account. And we're going to actually have an activity where we're going to try to do some stuff with GitHub. I decided to not have you just uh, nonstop always loading your things up on GitHub. Uh, it's kind of a public kind of a thing, and I don't really want that to be happening. So we're going to do one activity that, and you're all going to have a GitHub, and you're going to see how it all works with a GitHub uh, desktop so that you can kind of uh, have control versions of what you're doing. And so it's really a really important thing. Big companies, everybody uses GitHub. It's basically the, the number one uh, version control thing now, I would say, probably. Um, so we're going to be doing that. So that's something you saw there. Um, Originally, my plan was at the end of the year, depending on where we got to, to actually just kind of play with some of the Arduino stuff. The Arduino stuff is really cool. It's uh, basically it's out of Italy, and but it's it's a uh, open source little electronics, and you can program all kinds of things. So one of the projects I first saw was uh, they had a little Arduino board. If you want to look at it, you can check it out. I got several that I've already purchased too. I, some uh, Ethernet boards. They're tiny little circuit boards, and the one I saw originally was. Uh, they took it and they, you could put sensors and things on it. And so there was humidity sensors and there was uh, all kinds of whatever. And they, added, they just stick it in a plant. And then they set up a, a Twitter account for that plant. They called the plant Bob, I think, actually. Bobby, so that should make you happy. And uh, so there was Bob the plant. And whenever Bob the plant uh, needed to be watered, like notice mine's coming back today. I forgot to water it, so I watered it this morning. It was terrible. So I'm thinking about still making this making this uh, little project. If it needs water, uh, Bob the plant tweets that it needs water. Someone come give me some water. <laughs> or the new, my the new, my nutrient level is low. I need more nutrients. I need whatever. So Bob the plant continually tweets, and people can follow Bob the plant. And that's all made by a little Arduino and a little tiny program, a sketch. I don't know why we have to call it something different, but that's what they call it. Arduino sketches are little programs that, that just has uh, reads the sensors and it says if sensor less than, you know, kind of what we're doing, then uh, send a tweet. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do if, and uh, some of the programming you're learning is, you know, fairly basic, but it's, it's really kind of what is happening, so.